Hello everyone and welcome back to the third video of the periodontal series by Dr. Teeth. I am Dr. Sneha, your periodontology tutor and today we are going to discuss about cementum which uh, in our case is the third periodontal tissue that we are going to discuss. So cementum by definition is a calcified avascular mesenchymal tissue that forms the outer covering of the anatomic root. So let's discuss this definition. The first part says that it's calcified. That means there is calcium deposits and it is hard. Second, it is avascular. That means it does not have any vascular supply. So if you remember while discussing gingiva and the periodontal ligament, we spoke about the blood vessel supply of those tissues. But in case of cementum, there is no actual blood supply going to the cemental tissue. The third aspect here is that it is a mesenchymal tissue. So while, uh, so during the process of development, we have three germ layers. We have the ectoderm, we have the endoderm and between the ectoderm and endoderm, we have the mesoderm. So the tissues which are originating from this mesoderm are the mesenchymal tissues. So cementum is a mesenchymal tissue and it forms the outer covering of the anatomic root. So if this is the anatomic root, then this is the root dentine. And covering the root dentine is the layer of cementum. So cementum is a mineralized tissue covering the root dentine. So now let's understand the process of development of cementum which falls into the category of cementogenesis. So as stated before, it is a mesenchymal tissue and it develops during the process of tooth formation. So while uh, the enamel formation has occurred, the enamel is covered by a layer and this layer is termed as the And this layer is termed as the reduced enamel epithelium. Now in the cervical area of the reduced enamel epithelium, it forms a loop and this is termed as the cervical loop. Now remember this cervical loop is very important as it is the foundation for the developing root, the root dentine as well as the cementum. Now this cervical loop will slowly uh, proliferate and it will give rise to the Hertwig's epithelial root sheath. So from this area right here, so this area right here, the cervical loop will slowly proliferate and it will go apically and it forms the Hertwig's epithelial root sheath or the HERS. So this Hertwig's epithelial root sheath will slowly proliferate towards the apical aspect and it forms a mold into which the root dentine formation occurs. Now in the outskirts of the Hertwig's epithelial root sheath, we have the dental sac. Or it's also called as the dental follicle. Now in the next step, the cells of the dental sac will slowly start proliferating will slowly start proliferating and it will cause the breakdown of this Hertwig's epithelial root sheath. So in certain areas, the Hertwig's epithelial root sheath will undergo disintegration. Now once that has occurred, the dental sac cells will differentiate into two families. Either we have the fibroblast family, which will give rise to the further periodontal ligament fibers, or we have the cementoblast families which orient itself parallel to the root surface and forms the cementoid tissue. So cementoid tissue is an immature non-calcified tissue that is formed by the cementoblast which will further get calcified into the cementum. So ultimately there is a layer of cementum which is formed onto the root dentine.
Now, one more important aspect that we need to understand here is that during the process of calcification, there are some collagen fibers from the PDL that embed into the cementoid tissue and further it gets calcified. Now, these fibers which are getting embedded into the cementoid tissue and getting calcified are called as the Sharpie fibers. Now, Sharpie fibers are also called as the extrinsic fiber group of the cementum because they are extrinsic. They are coming from the PDL or the periodontal ligament. So, they are extrinsic in nature. Whereas, the cementoblast itself can secrete certain fibers which are intrinsic to the cementum. So, remember the cemental tissue consists of extrinsic fibers which are the Sharpie fibers and certain intrinsic fibers as well. Now, one last important point here that we need to remember is that there are two types of cementum. We have the acellular cementum and we have the cellular cementum. So, the acellular cementum is the cementum which forms first. So, you can see that cementum getting deposited towards the cervical third of the root. Whereas, the cellular cementum is deposited after the teeth reaches the occlusal plane. So, it is mostly deposited in the apical aspect. So, remember these two points. So, in cementogenesis, we spoke about the reduced enamel epithelium, the formation of the cervical loop. We spoke about the Hertwig's epithelial root sheath and we saw how the dental sac cells cause the disintegration of the Hertwig's epithelial root sheath forming either the fibroblast or the cementoblast which ultimately form the cemental tissue.